Hey YouTube and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're back. So if you're not familiar with my content, my name is JD Savage. I'm a six figure affiliate marketer and I teach people to make money as an affiliate marketer on the internet. If you want to check out some of my other content, please do so. I create series on specific platforms and I show you exactly what to do A to Z, uh, a lot of times copy and paste, and I don't sell courses. I just show you exactly what to do and I don't charge you for it. Okay. So that's something that interests you. Um, check out these series here, this one is on multiple income funnel. This one here is on HBA. And uh, I won't elaborate any more than that because that's really not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about today, and I will kind of clarify this. I didn't make, plan on making this video when I woke up this morning. Um, I had something else in mind, but due to popular demand, uh, this is the video I'm going to make because I feel like a lot of people are facing this. And that has to do with that dirty C word, content. what do you guys think I was gonna say? Right, content. So what we're gonna talk about is content specifically. So the questions I get, and I took some notes on this one because there's so much, and I'm gonna try to keep this video short enough to keep everybody's attention and to be informative. I may have to do a couple parts on this video because there's so many different platforms and so many different things to say about those platforms. Not that it's complicated, but it's gonna save you a lot of time on those platforms if you understand what to do and what not to do. And so I'm going to talk fairly rapidly, hopefully slow enough that it's all digestible and I want to make sure I cover everything. So if the video gets too long, I'll kind of just keep an eye on it and maybe we'll do a second part. Okay. So the questions that I'm getting are along these lines and I actually wrote a lot of them as well. It's not a lot of them, but some of them down. What kind of content to create? Okay. I'm not gonna answer that now, but I'm just gonna share with you. These are, so this is on your mind and these are some of the questions that you have stick in with me and I'll explain in this video, what kind of content to create, uh, what platforms, to use and which ones to use first instagram facebook TikTok, youtube what's the best place to start uh, how often to post um, should all of my content have a call to action in it or should it some of the content be more like um, value added videos right and to answer that question right up front yes I, I don't think everything should have a call to action in it but that depends upon what platform too so we'll elaborate on that um let's see and then where should i start um is a really common one and i know i mentioned that already but I'm going to kind of set the stage with this up front. That depends upon what you already have. Okay. So if you have a very successful, um, whatever, let's just say Facebook, a lot of people have Facebook and you don't mind using your personal profile, you can monetize your personal profile now. And I won't go into great depth here on that, but you can. So if you already have a pretty good reach and you don't mind using that, awesome. If you do not want to use that, I completely understand. You want to start something else. Just remember you're starting from ground zero. Okay. Um, but like I said, I, I kind of want to set the stage here. So here's what I want you to understand when we're going into all these topics is I want you to picture this as a campaign, right? So in other words, it's not something, obviously not, you know, me, if you know me at all, get rich quick, it isn't, I don't even want to talk about it anymore, but really it's not. And what I'm, what I mean to say is it's a campaign. So what's a campaign? Well, a campaign is something that happens over time. So I want you to set this up in your mind as a campaign, because it's going to help you with everything that I'm going to talk to you about. It's going to help you understand that when you come out with something, you're not going to come out with, you know, let's just say, well, let's take Pepsi, Coke, uh, Nike. They're pretty consistent, right? In their campaigns. And I've done a video before about, you know, finding your voice. And I'll talk a little bit about that here because I think some people perceive that as, okay, well, once you pick it, it can never change. No, things evolve and things change and that's perfectly okay. You know, and at this point of the video, I'd like to say something to everybody listening that's just starting out in this and trying to find their way. And it feels overwhelming, right? Because there's all these platforms and how do I do it? And do I need a camera and do I create content? Slow down and do this for yourself. Acknowledge the fact that you're new at it and that it's going to take time to learn it. And you don't know everything right now, because a lot of times by doing that, it's going to take the pressure off of you to have to generate these immediate results that people feel like they're under this time gun to, to deliver, right? It doesn't work that way right? You're going to build a campaign. And what I mean by that is you're going to learn piece by piece by piece by piece. Okay. But what, one thing I want you to acknowledge and take a look at is a campaign has consistency to it, right? Consistency to the underlying message. So there might be different topics and different versions of that, but the underlying feeling of Nike is just do it. Right? So when I say, find your voice, what's the underlying feeling of your campaign? Okay. That's important to consider. And that's not to say that it won't change in the future as you learn more, do more as things change. And that's part of why I need to go over these uh, platforms piece by piece, because if I just give you information, for example, that, oh, just do this on everything. It doesn't work the same. Okay. It doesn't work the same on every platform. Now there was a time where it was more similar, but, but platforms change rapidly and I'll probably be making some videos in the future and maybe this video will be outdated, but for current use, this is what I know. Okay. So that being said, um, I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Mm. 
And this is my lucky cup, by the way. Maybe that's what you need. You need a lucky cup and maybe everything I'm telling you is just nonsense. I'm <laughs> just, just playing. Um, so let's move forward. So let's talk about the different types of videos, in my opinion, that, that matter. Okay. So there's instructional video, like a lot of the videos that are on my channel, something like, like this, this is more instructional video. Okay. Um, this is as well. This series here to some degree is instructional video, but they tend to be uh, shorter videos and they're about a specific topic. They don't just go on to explain how to use an entire platform, right? It's like one thought process and a piece of maybe how you think and how to address things and how to approach things, right? More mindset kind of thing. So there's instructional long form. That's something you can consider for sure. I mean, what's stopping you from creating a series on a YouTube uh, channel about multiple income funnel, about uh, HBA, about whatever it is that you want to create, just do it in your way, do it in your words, right? What's stopping you? What's stopping you from going into um, HBA, for example, and pick in specific topics that are taught in there and then turn around and put them in your words? What's stopping you from creating uh, review videos on, and of course I'm talking right now, I'm talking about YouTube primarily, but I'm going to, I'm going to get off that topic really quickly. But I guess what I'm trying to encourage you to do is, is think outside the box and look for things that are relevant to the campaign that you're going to run that have a flow to it that are in and around that topic, right? So clearly if you're HBA, if you're multiple income follower, if you're both, um, what you're looking at is you're looking at the make money online niche, but you don't need to come across as, you know, the guy in the basement with the, you know, with the uh, money gun and the, you know, all of the pictures of cars that he's never even been near, right? I mean, none of that's necessary and people don't believe it anyway. So I don't, I highly do not recommend that, right? Not that any of you are gonna do that, but if you're considering it, please, please don't. It's just not necessary, okay? So then there's value videos, okay? So what is a value video? A value video would be something along the lines of not so much a call to action, more informational, right? So you got a business tip, you know, maybe you've been in business a long time and you know things that people would be interested in. So you create a video that shares information and then your only call to action would be if you like this kind of content, um, follow this profile for more or like and subscribe or whatever channel it is it would depend upon what you're going to say. But what you're doing with value videos is you're establishing, establishing yourself as an authority in an area. That's the intention of a value video. Okay. And let me just say, you're going to use all of these, not just one. Okay. You're going to use all of these, but you're going to use them in different places. Probably. I mean, value videos, you can pretty much use anywhere really. Uh, but specifically, uh, there's definitely a place to use value videos. Um, okay. Now the call to action videos, those are along the lines of it might start out a value video um, or it might start out just totally, hey, this is what I do if you're interested, right? Call to action videos, your best, and then whether they're short, they're, and I'm talking about shorts at this point, okay? So not whether they're shorts, these, these would be shorts. So call to action videos, what does that look like? Well, my best recommendation for a call to action video would be that you identify, and I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again, you identify the what are called pain points and i hate to put it that way but what problems what struggles what is it that people are up against that you can provide a solution for now you got to do this with some finesse and with some tact and it takes a little bit of practice and you can look around there's lots of examples right um but based on your campaign based on what it is that you want to project to people in your campaign long term remember that what are you going to say that is going to help address the issues that they face and you're going to present a solution to those issues, okay? So that's what a call to action video ideally should look like. It should not look like, hey, I'm an idiot with the money gun and come on and we'll make you a millionaire tomorrow. It's all nonsense, right? So think about it in this way. They're facing a problem. You have a solution to that problem. How are you going to identify the problem? How do you feel about it, right? You, you might have the same problem, right? You might've experienced the same problem in your life if you're not experiencing it now, or you can, empathize with people that are experiencing the problem and you want to help resolve that problem. Think about it from that perspective. And then how are you going to compassionately introduce the problem and then compassionately offer a solution to the problem? Okay. So that, that all has to do with your, uh, your campaign and the way you want to set it up. That's why I'm encouraging you to think of it as a, everything you do feeds into one campaign. Okay. So I think that's enough set in the stage. Let's move forward into, um, Let's just pick one because this video is going to get way too long. So I'll take two together. And the first two that are really popular, I'm going to tell you just right off the cuff, I encourage everybody that it has any interest at all to do a YouTube channel because you can feed all of the content, all of the social medias into YouTube and it works really well, but it also requires more setup, a little bit more practice to get used to using, you know, um, 
search engine optimization. So there's a little bit more to learn. So let's just take Facebook and Instagram right off the top, okay? Because they're similar and uh, they're both owned by the same company. So Facebook and Instagram, how do you how are you successful with Facebook and Instagram? Well, first of all, you can monetize both. So that's a good thing, right? Definitely right off the top. And then in addition to that, what they require in order to get engagement is they require that you engage. So here's my best advice, Facebook and Instagram, start putting together your shorts. They do much better than still pictures, okay? So 30 second video, 15 second video, I do really well with even one minute videos. Um, on both of those, right? Sure, other uh, reels. And so start putting together some reels, look around for inspiration. And I guess here I'll address hashtags as well. I, I apologize, this is kind of a little bit out of order, but not really. So you're gonna look around for inspiration. And when you find something that's done well, that has a concept that you relate to, that you could put in your words and give your take on, okay? Then I want you to look at, if that video did really well, just look at those hashtags, take those hashtags and use them, okay? So whether it's a value video, and I would say, both, you know, value video, uh, call to action video, not an instructional so much because it's long, long form video, but take that concept, put it in your words related to your campaign in, in your presentation style. And then what you're going to do is use those hashtags and then put those posts up. Okay. And what's going to happen is probably not much. I hate to say, you know, honestly, probably not much for a while, but the next thing that you need to do is cut out a time each day. I don't care if it's on your lunch break, if it's whatever, jump on. If you're doing Facebook and Instagram, you're going to want to probably a half an hour a piece, right? I mean, an hour piece would be even better, but that sounds pretty unrealistic for a lot of people. I understand. So take each one and you're going to spend about a half an hour engaging with other people's posts. You're going to comment, you're going to like, right? You're going to, you're going to subscribe, you're going to follow whatever, whatever it is that you're on. And you're going to engage with people and that's going to cause engagement because that's what is going to cause the algorithm to acknowledge you as a participant when you don't really have any engagement on your own things initially. And then you're going to, for Facebook, for example, you're going to start friending people and inviting people, right? If you, well, so if it's personal profile and then obviously if it's a page, if you start a page as well, okay, I didn't touch on that, but I think everybody knows that, that you can start a page on Facebook. So. I recommend both if you're willing to use your own profile. I highly recommend it, if you, especially if you've got something established already, unless you're just absolutely opposed, in which case I understand. But also start a Facebook page, and then you're going to be able to engage and cause engagement on your uh, profile as well, okay, on your page as well. Same with Instagram, same kind of thing, right? It's like follow, subscribe, you're gonna get out there and you're gonna start engaging. I don't necessarily recommend that you only engage with other affiliates because it doesn't hurt, you know? I mean, there's a lot of affiliates here that, are, that, that work with me that, um, we're affiliates and other things, but don't just stick to that lane, right? Get outside of that lane and, and go into some other areas. Okay. Meaning who it is that you comment on, who it is that you, that you follow. Okay. So it does take some work and it does take some time when it starts to work. I'm going to tell you, it is extremely worth it. I mean, extremely worth it. Where are we at now? I think I'm, you know, I think I'm just going to keep going. And if you have any more really specific questions, I'm just going to keep going. Cause I want to get through this. I don't want to chunk it up. I want you guys to have all the information. So maybe I can just talk a little faster. Uh, TikTok. Let's let's move on to TikTok. So TikTok has recently made some pretty big changes. I'm not going to go into why and how come. It doesn't really matter. What you need to understand is what you need to do with TikTok. The best thing, best videos that I see on TikTok right now that are doing the best, and you're going to build that channel the fastest. And by the way, I've mentioned in other videos. If you don't know, I'll, at any given point, I'll usually have five TikTok channels. Lately, I've been paying less attention to them because my Facebook and my other things are just blowing up so hard that. I haven't had as much time, but TikTok is very sensitive right now. And it has been for a while, but it's gotten even more so sensitive. So I would recommend value videos and side hustle videos. Okay. And having said side hustle, they just don't, I mean, there's one other type of video that I didn't consider because it's pretty much specific to this niche exactly is you'll pick something that really doesn't have anything to do with what it is that you're offering. Okay. For example, a really common one is uh, Netflix. Okay. So just jump on TikTok. It's the easiest one, really jump on TikTok and just put in hashtag side hustle and you'll come up with a gazillion videos. Look for videos that do well, acknowledge what the, and the, the recent, right? Not like really old, uh, acknowledge what the hashtags are and then copy those hashtags. You can save them, copy those hashtags and then um, take a look at a bunch of different ideas. Just make a list. Netflix is a really common one. Did you know Netflix would pay you to watch movies, right? And then here's what's going to happen at the end of that. Hey, if that's not really your thing, because it's actually really challenging to get into that. A lot of people do that. And it's really challenging to get that uh, spot with Netflix. But that being said, uh, at the end of that video, you would say something along the lines of, hey, if Netflix isn't your thing, you know, uh, and you want to learn how to make money online as an affiliate marketer, check this out, right? 
that is a side hustle video. Try to stay away from, click my link, try to stay away from that type of thing. I would probably even more so, I'm gonna correct myself there, with TikTok now, you're probably not gonna get away with a lot of the things that I did. Um, it's probably gonna be more like, if you like this kind of content, um, you know, follow me for more, something along those lines, right? Because what you're trying to do is generate an audience and then you can make them aware of what you do when they're following you because they're gonna see your content. So again, it's a campaign, guys. It's not a short-term blurb, it's a campaign. So, and I know I keep saying that, and I don't mean to be irritating, but I just wanna make sure that everybody is completely clear on what I'm saying. And then obviously a value video would be, you know, like I mentioned earlier, that something that you know about or for business tips. So that's another good way to put a value video, a business tip. Um, hey, if you wanna grow your, your uh, TikTok account, you know, stay away from like what I just told you. You can take some of the information I've given you in this video and create a value video, okay? Or you can look around for examples of value videos. There's a lot of them. So that's part of it when you're creating your campaign and you're thinking about it, you're gonna need to cut out some time to do some research, right? Just go to TikTok and put in hashtag side hustle, hashtag make money online, hashtag, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff, but pay attention to the timing and how well the channel's doing. Because if you see a lot of sell, 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 sell stuff on TikTok, that's not working so great anymore. Okay, so more value and more side hustle tends to be working out considerably better. All right, right now, at least on TikTok. And guys, that can change. TikTok changes like, I don't know, like frequently. Let's just put it that way. They're going through a lot of growth. Um, so let, lastly, I'm going to move on to YouTube. And I have actually a YouTube video. Um, so I'm not going to expand a lot here on YouTube. And this video is getting kind of long, like I said. So I want to keep it reasonable. But with YouTube, um, it's definitely worthwhile. That's what I can tell you. And it expands pretty rapidly if you put the time, energy, and effort into it. Um, my channel is not that old. Um, we're a little over 6,000 uh, subscribers at this point. It says I've got 75 videos. I'm not sure that there's actually 75 videos, but um, I highly recommend it. And as I said earlier, you know, I think some of these might be not actually pr public videos. But as I said earlier, shorts um, are good. And because they can go on YouTube, they can go on uh, TikTok, they can go on Facebook, they can go on Instagram. And I'm sure there's other places I haven't even brought up that they can go. However, those are the ones that I definitely recommend. Uh, I think TikTok is kind of, I don't know, I'm not gonna call it a flash in the pan because I don't think it is. I don't think it's necessarily going anywhere, but it's cumbersome because it changes a lot, right? But I just don't worry about it. I just put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on. For those of you guys that have heard me say this, look, I probably got 50 TikTok accounts. Some of them I can't even access. Some of them they're like, oh, you violated our community guidelines. I didn't do anything. And then I'll respond like, I didn't, I'll check the little box, right? They send you this little message. I checked the box, did not violate it. They check it. Oh, you didn't violate it. We apologize. But every time they do that, it harms your reach on your account. So I'll just leave that account sit and I'll go, right? And I want to reaffirm for everybody, where most of your sales are going to come from once you build this that I'm talking to you about, they're going to come from a lot of content that you created that you forgot you even created. It happens to me all the time. They're like, hey, I saw your TikTok thing and you said blah, blah. I'm like, did I say that? Okay. Oh, well, then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. It was, a, it was a video I made a long time ago. I, I, I'd forgotten about it, right? So that's what you need to get to is to the point where you've expanded your campaign to the point where you have a pretty good reach and it will just continue to get better and better and better and better and better. And I want you guys to realize, I've said this before, I want to say it again. It's not that people don't like your content. It's highly likely that people aren't seeing your content, okay? That's how algorithms work. So you have to break through that algorithm to get there. That's with all of them, all right? So also I'll mention with YouTube that uh, I have five YouTube channels. I only really use this one here um, in, in terms of long form video and, and when I put videos out, but there are four other channels with shorts on them. And the reason I mentioned earlier, a YouTube channel is so important most all of my social medias drive everybody here to my YouTube channel because this is where I can make long form video where I can try to bring the most value and I can be the most clear. It's challenging to be clear and concise and teach anybody anything in 30 seconds or in 15 seconds, right? It's, I mean, there's no way. I mean, some of these videos, I try to keep them as reasonable as possible, but some of these videos, you know, are 20, 30 minutes long. Why? Because there's a lot of information in them. That's why. And speaking of long videos, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. When I play it back, I might realize that I missed something, but I took some notes. I tried to cover everything and at least give you guys a really good concept as to how to set it up. So approach it as a campaign, think about it, and then where you're going to put things, I would recommend starting, if you're going to start with Facebook and Instagram uh, and TikTok, YouTube is a little bit longer process, but definitely if you're interested in it at all, do it, okay? Don't put it off. All right, guys, I've said enough today. I apologize for the longer video, but I really wanted to get this content out there because without any exaggeration, I have at least 40 messages that are talking about this that I just covered in this video, okay? So I'm gonna keep this video as something to forward people when they ask them because imagine if I tried to text this to you or if I tried to email you this, it's just, it's way too much information, okay? If I didn't cover something that you had a question about, you know how to get a hold of me. My number's right below 
all my videos. Okay? Reach out to me and we will go from there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, and if you like this kind of content, every good YouTuber is supposed to tell you, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tick the bell icon so you're notified when I release new content. Anyway, guys, thanks.